What's up everybody? This is Bruce aka Geektacular and today I'm going to be unboxing uh, two records. So what these are, um, these are from a company called uh, Data Discs um, and they're based in England in the UK and basically what they've started doing uh, is they have started remastering and re-releasing retro video game soundtracks on vinyl. How cool is that? Um, they are totally officially licensed um, and they're also remastered uh, with input from the original composers, which is so cool. It's freaking awesome. So these are actually the very first two releases. Um, they went up for pre-order several months ago, but they're finally here um, in mid-2015. Um, so yeah, uh, these are the very first two, um, Streets of Rage and Shinmu, both Sega games. And as you see here, they both basically um, sort of advertise the same things. It's the original soundtrack, remastered, uh, first time ever on vinyl. Uh, it's on, both of them are on 180 gram vinyl. Um, Shinmu comes with one lithograph, um, a lithographic print. And Streets of Rage actually comes with two uh, lithographic prints. Um, and they are both licensed by Sega. So these are like official uh, releases here, officially sanctioned releases. These aren't bootlegs or anything like that. Um, and I got the uh, limited edition of both of these, which have the um, basically like a swirl, uh, a patterned vinyl. I forget exactly what each one is. I think this one has like blood red splatter on the vinyl. And this one I think is maybe a swirl, a blue and white swirl or something like that. But um, you might say, Bruce, don't you want to uh, leave them uh, sealed? Not really. Um, I actually want to listen to these. I have multiple record players in my house, system records all the time. And um, I want to actually see the lithographs inside and experience the... Uh, the soundtrack. So yeah, I'm totally going to open these up. Um, I do not have that collector need to leave everything sealed for the future because that's boring. Why would I even buy it if I'm not going to play with it or listen to it or whatever? So yeah, um, I just thought I'd go ahead and unbox these just so you can kind of see uh, what's in each one. So I'll do them sort of in order here. So I'll go ahead and do Streets of Rage first. So you can see the artwork here. This is sort of like the traditional um, Streets of Rage uh, art right here with the official logo there. Um, and it comes factory sealed in plastic. So if you're buying it sealed, it's shrink wrapped. And then this is called, um, this is a Japanese thing, it's called an obi strip. And basically it's just, um, it comes on a lot of CDs and records and stuff. And it just has some like text about it. Um, but it actually just slips off. Um, it's just sort of sitting in the, on the uh, case inside of the, the shrink wrap. So it's not actually printed on there. But you see the data disk logo right there. And you can read all of the things that are on the OB strip there. You can see that it's 001. So this is the very first of their video game releases. Um, so here is what the back looks like. Um, so maybe I'll take the shrink wrap off first, just so you can kind of um, see it without all the glare on the plastic. But I just kind of wanted to show you the back of the Obi strip here, just as also available with Shinmu. Now these are the only two that have been announced and released already. So I guess they're probably seeing if there was any interest in these before they go ahead and, you know, make lots and lots of them. Um, and on the side here, if you can see it, it's kind of hard to read it. Um, right there it says Streets of Rage in English. And then I assume that says Streets of Rage in Japanese right there. Um, and then it says right here in the middle, um, since it won't focus, it says Data001, the serial number. And right there again is the, uh, if I can get it to focus here, which it doesn't seem to want to, it's very, tiny surface here. This is the data logo again, and then this part is just red right here. Um, and the rest of this is like, 
I think it's just white um, in the background on the spine. And then the art, basically, it's kind of hard to see right here, but the art um, essentially just sort of wraps around the top um, and the art uh, wraps around the bottom as well. So maybe if I get some light on it, it'll want to focus a little. Yeah, too small text there for it to focus on, I think. So let me go ahead and open this up. I'm going to be very careful, though, when I open this plastic wrap, because I don't want to damage it. I'm sure this pains anybody who uh, <laughs> likes to leave stuff in the packaging, but it's okay. And I might actually go ahead and leave this OB strip on because I kind of like how it looks. So this is what it looks like out of the package. And this is, again, the back. Um, so this is kind of like, you know, standard record case stuff right there. And if you want, you can read the text there. And there is the uh, track list. And there's some fine print at the bottom that you can kind of read right there. A little bit more art there. Um, so yeah, the OB strip is sort of um, tight, tightly on here, so I'm probably just gonna leave it as is. Um, since I, I sort of like how it looks, I kinda wanna just leave it there. So, let's open up the inside. So we've got the lithograph stacked uh, on top here. And they're square, just like the record case. This is the first one, which looks awesome. It's basically the exact dimensions of a record case. Um, and this is the second one, which is the same art um, as the cover. And I think this is the art um, from the back. That's it's kind of faded out on the back of the uh, on the back of the record sleeve. So those are really cool. Um, just plain white on the back. These are kind of like thick. Um, like cardstock sort of paper, so they're kind of flexible, um, but they aren't like thin like paper. They're kind of like cardstock, like a is like a really thick business card that kind of thickness. So uh, those are the two lithographs there, and here is the disc. So it comes in a black sleeve. And then the disc itself um, has like a frosted plastic sleeve over it. Oh, the frosted plastic sleeve is actually connected. Um, so if, if you see here, the plastic part is actually connected to the inside of this black sleeve. And here, da da da, there is the record itself. Um, so again, this is the limited edition um, splatter vinyl. Um, so it looks like it's red vinyl, kind of translucent red vinyl with black splatter on it. So side A, this is side B. Looks really cool. I love that splatter. It really gives you sort of, it's kind of got like a violent kind of look to it, you know, like, like Streets of Rage. Like it's a it is the beat-em-up that it is. Um, so yeah, that is the Streets of Rage package. So I'm just going to put it right back in here just like I found it. So record like that. And then the two prints uh, just right on top of the record here. I'll probably find a frame and try to frame those prints or something, too. So that's the Streets of Rage uh, record. Now we'll move on to the Shinmu record. And I'll just, uh, let me go ahead and just open this first. Shrink wrap is very well... Very well wrapped. There we go. So, 
Okay, so again, I'll probably leave the Obi strip on here, um, but I'll give you a close up of the cover art here. So, traditional Shinmu cover art. It actually doesn't say Shinmu in English on the front, it's all in Japanese. And actually, this, this text, when you can see when I run the light over it, the text is actually glossy. So, the art is matte, but this text is glossy. Let me see if the Streets of Rage one is like that too. Um, no. All of the Streets of Rage cover, um, is, like, matte. Um, but the Shinmu one, the text is actually glossy, so it sort of stands out. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you got the artwork there. There's what the Obi strip says. Um, and then again, like the other one, the top. Uh, the art just sort of continues over the top. The bottom, the art just continues along the bottom here. And the spine, um, even though this probably won't focus right, um, it is laid out the same way as the Streets of Rage one. So it says Shinmu in English, then it says it in Japanese. And right here it says Data002. And there is the uh, Data logo again, just like this logo. Um, and then it's just the color blue right there. Um, so here is the back. This is, um, I don't know if the color's coming through exactly right on the video, um, but it's sort of like a baby blue color. Um, on the video, it kind of looks like it has a little bit of a greenish tinge, which it doesn't in real life. It's like, basically like sort of pastel baby blue. Um, so there is the track listing right there. There's no, um, if you remember on the Streets of Rage, uh, the back of the Streets of Rage one, there was sort of like a uh, uh, faded out piece of art on the back, but this one is just straight blue. Um, so here is the text at the bottom. So no additional art or uh, anything like that. So let's go ahead and see what's in here. So here is the print itself. Again, its dimensions are basically, you know, just slightly smaller than the record case. And it's just the art from the front uh, of the record sleeve. So that's awesome. Same, same, uh, like cardstock sort of uh, paper. So really thick, um, really thick paper and uh, it's kind of printed on there. It's sort of glossy. You can kind of see it when I run the light over it. Um, it I don't know if I'd call it glossy glossy, but it's, um, yeah, so it's, it's really nice. And again, just blank on the bottom. And again, we have a black uh, record sleeve with this frosted plastic that's attached on the inside. Pull the disc out. Oh, so cool. So cool. So this is this is like light blue, uh, translucent light blue vinyl with uh, this dark blue uh, splotch in the middle. So really cool. Um, and again, this is 180 gram vinyl. And there's what it looks like from the back side. And I'm assuming these are probably a little bit, this and the Streets of Rage discs, I'm assuming that the splatter is a little bit different on, you know, each individual copy. So they all won't probably look exactly like this, but it should give you a, an idea of what they look like. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in there. Slip this back into here. And then I'll show you what the two look like uh, sitting up beside each other. So let me see if I can just slide this back in. There we go. So, uh, stacked up beside each other. This is basically what they look like. English, Japanese serial number, um, 
and then kind of a little color that corresponds to the disc and the little data disc logos. Uh, so yeah, those are the Streets of Rage and Shinmu uh, limited edition splatter data discs vinyl soundtracks. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching this. Um, if you like this unboxing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. And uh, if you like these kinds of unboxings, if you like video game related unboxings, movie stuff, anime, retro games, all that kind of stuff, go ahead and click subscribe down below and that way I'll get notified whenever I come out with any new videos. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you next time.